and uh, we're able to uh, observe the two teenagers that we've been looking for since last Thursday um, in the river. We made notification to local emergency services to come assist. Um, we were able to recover those two individuals this afternoon. They were positively ID'd as the two individuals that we've been looking for since Thursday. Um, I just want to say that our hearts, our thoughts, our prayers go out to the family members. I've spoken with all the family members regarding this, so they have been notified. Um, please give them some time um, to grieve. Um, I also want to give a shout out to all the uh, emergency personnel agencies that assisted in this search. Uh, Farmington PD, Farmington Fire Department, Avon PD, Avon Fire Department, Burlington PD, Burlington Fire Department, and a special thanks to the State Police Dive Team that utilized their equipment um, in these efforts to bring closure to the families. So, I'll take questions. Was there a reason that area of the river was being searched today? Um, just going on a hunch. Just We were just doing our normal patrols, um, focusing on downstream a little bit further because of current conditions with the water flows being a little bit higher than they normally have been. Um, we figured we might as well start searching downriver um, with that potential that you know, they they may surface at some point, and and um, so we we got we got lucky today, and and uh, just so happened to be that's how it that's how it went down. So um, we got closure for the family. So it was just a normal search pattern that we always do ground search. We were covering the trying to cover as much as the river possible on the banks because obviously we can't be on the water. It's water's too dangerous. So um, it, it just happened to work out in all of our favors today. So. Is it accurate that the two bodies were indeed together? That's correct. Was there something that may have, that you seem to be kind of unusual? Was there something that maybe they got caught up on or? Uh, so when they were first observed, they were still going downstream. They were flowing with the current. Um, they did get snagged up on, on a tree that was on the opposite side of the river, which worked out in our favor. Um, so we were able to get assets out here to secure them, and um, we were able to get them to shore. Is there a confirmed cause of death? That will be determined by the medical examiner. Yeah. Captain, did the release of water from the Colebrook Dam perhaps increase the current, maybe dislodge them? That's or? very possible. That was one of our hopes that that would happen um, with the extra release of water today. Uh, that is very possible that that could have played a factor, um, which again benefited the search. and. And uh, you know, I couldn't say that it was the factor, but probably a uh, a good contributing factor. So, yeah. This is so heartbreaking, but we can't stress enough the current conditions of the river. Can you speak to that? Correct. So, um, obviously, due to all the rainwater, this has hampered the search efforts uh, and recovery efforts. Um, because the water level is so high up in the reservoirs, they actually ha would have had to release water regardless of this incident. Um, with that being said, the water level is probably six or seven times higher than it normally would be this time of year. It is very dangerous to be out there. Uh, so we're asking everybody you know, that recreates on not just this river, but any body of water in the state of Connecticut that's, that's swollen right now because of the rain, please stay off the water. Um, we don't want another incident like this to happen. Uh, th this is a very unfortunate situation. The, the river level is very dangerous. It's going to continue to rise throughout the next couple of days. Um, so conditions are going to get even worse. Uh, just give it some time, please. It's what we're asking. Stay out of the water right now. It's, it's not worth the risk. And are you able to clarify where the boys, were they actually together, or they just have to be floating in the same area of the river? Uh, they were probably 30, 40 yards apart from each other, but in the same general area. So, like I said, I, we got lucky. We got very lucky, but I credit our officers for being there and doing the searches and not giving up on it. You know, they, they really did their due diligence with their jobs, and, and uh, I give them a lot of credit, so. And, and again, the distance between where they were last seen, where their cars were, and where the bodies were? Um, if I had to guess, maybe a mile and a half or so, maybe a little more than that. Not much more than that, though. Is so, that typical when we are dealing with such rushing waters? It, believe it or not, yes. It's, you know, every situation is different. I've seen it go the opposite way, where they're three or four, five miles down river. Um, but more often than not, um, 
you know, with, with water levels as high as they are, um, it, it, you know, and this is just what I've seen through my career, they don't tend to go too, too far initially. Um, like I said, I think we got lucky today that, um, you know, they got caught up. Uh, otherwise, it could have been a lot further downstream. So, yep. I imagine every search is difficult, but I'm sure a lot of first responders are parents themselves. Did that just kind of always be in the back of your mind? Um, yeah, it's not easy for law enforcement. It's not easy for first responders. Um, you know, anybody out searching, whoever may be that would have found these two individuals, um, it's definitely uh, heart wrenching. You know, like I said, my uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to the family. It's very difficult for them. It's very difficult for us. You know, we see this time and time again. And like I said, we can't stress enough. You know, water safety is crucial. Um, you know, wear your life jacket if you're going out in the boat. Um, and be mindful of the dangerous water levels and the currents. Uh, what may look as a peaceful flow going through is could be very, very dangerous with high water levels right now. The currents are are um, deceiving, very strong, and. Um, you know, we just don't want to see another incident like this again. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's difficult for us. It's difficult for all first responders to deal with a situation like this. So, um, can you confirm where the team from who is out of state? Where was he from? I'm not 100% sure where he's actually from. I know I've I've spoken to um, his mother. She's out in Arizona right now. I know he was visiting um, and working for his grandfather. So um, he's not originally from Plainville, but uh, it, it's, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Good? Okay.